It's a cold, damp, and uh, very bleak old day here in the national capital. As the Canberra Raiders take the field for the match against the Brisbane Broncos today, let's have a look at the lineup for the uh, Canberra Raiders here this afternoon. It's Mullins at fullback, Nagus and Nandruka in the uh, winging posi wing positions, Meninga and Wiki, Daly and uh, Stewart at the halves, Bradley Clyde, David Ferner, Jason Croker, and then of course we have a front row of Lomax, Walters and Hetherington, and the coach of course is Tim Sheens. Alan Langer leads the Broncos onto the field, not the most popular man in Canberra this week, keeping Ricky Stewart out of the test side, but he leads the team out this afternoon. There's only one change to the Broncos lineup, and you can see it on the wing. That's Chris McKenna coming in for the injured Michael Hancock. Fullback is Wendell Saylor. The other winger is Paul Morris. In the centres, it's Steve Ranoff and Chris Johns. Kevin Walters at 5'8", and Alan Langer is the halfback. The front row is Mark Hone, Kieran Walters and Andrew G. And the second row, Brett Gaylier and Peter Ryan. Julio O'Neill lock forward, and the coach is Wayne Bennett. Referee today is Greg McCallum in charge of East. They've been in charge of 33 matches that the Broncos have played so far in the Winfield Cup. And came under quite a deal of criticism in the match against Wigan. Interesting to see what happens today. Gary Belchar. Certainly will be, Billy. It's all pointing towards the Raiders today. He's in full strength. But we've seen many changes in the Broncos' side. Also, the weather, very cold. Conditions slippery. Something you'd also expect to suit the Raiders. It's all up now to the Broncos to prove us wrong. And of course, uh, their home track, their home record is excellent, isn't it? It is superb down here. I think 17 on the trot, looking for 18. The Raiders have a lot of pride in the fact that they've got such a home crowd uh, or a home ground. Good record. They'll be looking to keep that again today. That's Mark Hone taking it up for the Broncos. Added to the Australian side this week as a reserve. Brett Galea slipping over. We've had a bit of rain. It started off quite a pleasant day here in Canberra, but has deteriorated as the afternoon's gone on. There's been rain. There's been just about everything. There's right. a kick downfield by Julian O'Neill. I think they call it grass monkey weather down here, Billy. It sure is. what they mean. This is Brett Mullins gets out of the first tackle. A tackle coming in over there from Chris Johns. So here's how the two teams stand on the table at the moment. Canberra in fifth spot on 16. The Broncos there down in ninth on 13. So a win pretty vital for both sides today, particularly the Broncos. But as we said, it's an uphill battle. Here's the head-to-head -head count at the moment. 11 games, Brisbane 7-4. to four. And here in Canberra, the spoils are shared at two. All a bit of a surprise. I would have thought that they might have gone a bit more Canberra's way. But that's uh, the results as they stand at the moment. Well, the recent record has all been, well, virtually all been Brisbane. Six wins out of seven. Of course, a good win down here at Bruce State. And the only uh, jot in the copybook there for the Broncos. Ricky Stewart puts it up high. Wendell Saylor going back there. He'll take it nicely. Saylor about nine metres out from his own line. So we'll see a lot more of Ricky Stewart. Penalty coming up here to the Broncos. Interfering in the play of the ball. McCallum, no hesitation awarding the penalty. We see a great take there from Wendell Saylor. Trying to fight to get up. Hetherington holding him down. And a little, well, <laughs> a juggle there. Maybe a, ball, a hand on the ball from Hetherington early. We see Andrew G take it away. Man in back play who's not looking too good is Chris Johns. We saw Brett Mullins earlier make that half break. He's leaving the field, actually. Yes, and Chris Johns, I think he's done something serious to his wrist there. Not good news, considering there's already plenty of Broncos out of the match. So that's going to be Brett Gailey, a wrestle to the ground, and Johnny Plath will be the replacement player for the Broncos. That's Julian O'Neill now. O'Neill, 10 metres from the halfway mark. So Johnny Plath on for... Chris Johns in the back line, and that's another blow for the Brisbane Broncos side as Kevin Walters works it up to the halfway mark. Well, there's going to be a bit of pressure on Plath too. He's, uh, he'll have that shoulder heavily strapped, Gary. Yeah, he, was, he had a little bit of trouble with it at training. He assured me that there was no real drama with the shoulder. It was just restricting his passing a little bit, and with the right strapping, everything would be OK. One thing I do know about Johnny Plath is he's got a big ticker, and he'll give it his all today. So in by Ricky Stewart. Away it goes to Nandruku. Dummy half is Stewart, waiting for it now. And it's uh, Bradley Clyde just taking it up to the forwards, to that uh, defence line, and Brett Gator leads off with the tackle. On to Daly now. And there was a little knock on in there, yes. Referee McCallum spotted it. Not much to it, but he just picked it up. Wiki losing it in the tackle. Ruben Wiki seemingly trying to get his hands free, but... There's never any opportunity to pass the ball. Langer feeds the scrum. Out it goes to Walters. Into the back line comes Wendell Saylor, but he's got to be wrapped up at a penalty. A little bit too keen to get up there. Is Langer going to take the tap? 
He props for a moment, gives it to Julian O'Neill. And it'll be O'Neill to kick for touch. Well, he kicks for touch. That's about uh, all that comes out of it. He found touch. Well, that's the important thing, I suppose. It's over the sideline. Ooh, there's a bit of a high, hard tackle coming in. Back on to Andrew G this time. G straight ahead. Coming into the tackle this time is David Furner leading off for Canberra. Dummy half, Kieran Walters slips away, tackle, got his pass away to Kevin Walters. Then to no one, it rolls back, picked up by O'Neill. O'Neill in turn is going to be put to the ground in the tackle. Weeky coming in to get him. Away from dummy half, Kevin Walters, wrapped up by Ricky Stewart. They're 25 metres out from that Canberra line. Mark Hone taking it up now to the 20 metre line, as you can see. Tackler coming in there is David Furner. This is the final tackle now. Langer goes round the blind side, kicks right across field. It's over the head of Ricky Stewart. He'll regather a couple of metres out from his own line. He has Nandruku with him, decides to go himself. And quickly going to be claimed over there by young Paul Morris. So from the play of the ball, away to Nandruku. We haven't seen much of him this season for Canberra. And it's only his second game back. The crowd here, well, real crowd favourite, Nandruku. Top try scorer last year. Wonderful flamboyant player. Not the, Certainly not the sort of conditions he'd like to see. But any open space and he'll make the most of it. So there's uh, a very big crowd here at Bruce Stadium today. They were hoping for a record. Gary, you know the ground. Are they online? Oh, I don't think so. A, a few thousand people short, I suppose, because of the conditions. The kids are spilled onto the southern end of the ground. Certainly not because they needed to, only because they, they could get closer to the action. Here's uh, Wendell Saylor trying to get away from Meninga, which he does. Now he straightens up and eventually going to be put down 18 metres out from his own line. The play it now to Alan Langer is dummy half. Langer finds that he has Paul Morris over there. Morris takes it up over the 20-metre line. It's going to be met in the defence up there of Steve Walters. Important for a player like Paul Morris. He found himself up in first grade at the expense of Michael Hancock to get involved early. Certainly looks like he's trying to do that. He's made a few tackles already, and that run was OK. The referee's got a rule that that one's carried forward. Have a look at it. That's from the new Australian rep, Mark Hone. Scrum to pack down, 30 metres out from the Broncos line. Ricky Stewart to feed. Cross over there to Daly, outside to Meninga. Meninga straight ahead, or rather Weeky on that occasion, straight ahead. Dummy half waiting Daly again, to settling it up. Back it goes to Hetherington, doubling around is Daly. Sends a nice cross to Mullins. Mullins pushes away the tackle of Langer. Wait and Andrew Fu going for the quarter real score. Into the corner, McCallum checks, everything's A-OK. -okay. And Canberra get an early lead of four points to nil. Well, planned play there from the Raiders. They've hit back after one tackle in. That run around there for Daly. He found Mullins in half a gap. Got the big fend out there on Alfie and staggered through the hole to find Nandruku backing up. That last ditch ta tackle there from, I think it was O'Neill. Just couldn't get his hands on. David Ferner now kicking from very, very close to that touchline. This will give you a bit of an idea. That's uh, what faces him now. As you can see, there's a bit of water around on that camera lens. Rain has stopped, and it looks as though it's brightened up somewhat. But it's certainly brightened up for the Canberra supporters. Oh, that's a shocker. Waved away without any worries. So Canberra lead at the moment by four points to nil. So the restart of play with Julian O'Neill driving it deep downfield. Taken back there by Laurie Daly. Daly in turn swings it around to Lomax. Lomax runs strongly up to the 20-metre mark before the defence finally puts him down, but a good run there. So away from dummy half this time is Nagus. Very important passage of play coming up now for the Broncos. The Raiders, they'd love to get on a roll. They can sense that Brisbane are, are down, certainly not out yet. The Broncos need to hold them back. They need to make a good set of six tackles and then get themselves back up into Brisbane's territory. Put some pressure on. Kick downfield. Chris McKenna is going to be back there for the Broncos. Turns around, has a look to see what confronts him. Weeky comes in and puts him down right on the 20-metre line. So Alan Langer up to the dummy half spots. Wendell Saylor. Saylor trying to find a way up the centre, but the defence is there. Steve Walters came across rather quickly, and also over there was Jason Croker. So this is Mark Hone. 
Works it up to 30 metres out from their own line now. Now to the blind side, Andrew G, taken by Daly. And also Meninga into the tackle. So back to Plath, to Langer. Langer to Kevy Walters. Walters with a long one. This is McKenna on the wing, cuts back inside. Trying to rip him into touch over here is Nagus, but only just stays in the field of play. So back to O'Neill. There's the kick from him. Nandruka will take it. 20 metres from the halfway mark. Oh, but he does get away from the tackle over there, or Steve Renoff. He's coming up towards Mark Hone. Hone trying to line him up, but he's going to be mown down from behind. Coming out over there was Paul Morris. But Canberra on the roll now. They'll keep it going as back it comes to Stewart. Stewart with a long one this time to Laurie Daly. The crowd calling for some action. They're going to get it. Because there's Bradley Clyde. Clyde going to be knocked down about five metres out from the line. Dummy half waiting for it is Wiki. He'll send it back over to Stewart. Stewart then to Daly. They've got plenty of men outside. They keep it going. They try to work up the centre. They do. Lomax. He'll get it back to Steve Wallace. Wallace over beside the post. And Canberra have a lead of eight points to nil. Well, it was danger zone when Nandruku broke through on the far side. You saw the ball go from one side of the field to the other and back again. Daly getting another one of those long balls from Stewart. Lomax there stretching out. Looked like he'd score himself, but wisely had a look for his, his hooker. Steve Walters backing up. Just holding on in that tackle there. Brett Gailey over Steve Walters. Bradley accepts the final pass. Much easier task this time for David Ferner. Just to the left-hand side of the uprights. And that's a far better kick from him this time. Registers the extra two points. And Canberra's lead now is ten points to nil. Welcome back to Bruce Stadium here in Canberra as Julian O'Neill restarts play. It'll be taken back there by Hetherington in the in goal area. And he doesn't mind running hard. Jared Walters jumps into him and knocks him down. Coming over the top there was uh, Peter Ryan. But here's Canberra bustling it up again. Making good ground and the touch of the ball on every occasion. That time it was Mal Meninga. Steve Walters away from dummy half. Flath and also Andrew G and uh, Kerrod Walters there to put him down. They cut out Lomax this time. It goes to Ricky Stewart. Taken by Wendell Saylor back there. Saylor running it out. But gee, there's plenty of defence there. Nagas from the win. Weakey from the opposite there. And down he goes. They're electing to kick on early tackle count there. It was only three tackles and Ricky Stewart took that one. It was a fairly OK kick downfield. Wet weather football normally gets down to the kicking game. You see Julian O'Neill or Alfie take over for the Broncos. Randolph losing the ball. A big heavy tackle there from Mal Meninga. And uh, Canberra will end up with it. That was a boomer by Big Mal. There he goes. He's just lost it. Well, to his defence, Mal hit him just as he caught the ball. A little yep. bit difficult to control it there. Now Penley coming up to Canberra. Broncos a little bit too keen to get into the action. Kieran Wallers kicks it away and he'll give away another 10 metres. Steve Walters, his brother, is there and says, thanks, mate. I'll take it up here, but it was kicked away. There's a bit of steam coming off the players out there. Kevy Walters, a little push to Bradley Clyde. Earlier on, Laurie Daly pointing the finger at Steve Renoff. David Ferner now looking for the extra two points, which would give Canberra a very comfortable lead and really make it tough for this Broncos side. There's the kick by Ferner. Let's have a look at it. It is there. So now Canberra move away with a lead of 12 points to nil. Julian O'Neill restarts play now as the ball carries down there to Wiki. Crossfield a little bit, but it's going to be met by the defence and put down just past the 20-metre line. Tackler up there that time was Peter Ryan. This is Mal Meninga. Meninga up to the 30-metre mark. Steve Wallace from dummy half. Works it away to Bradley Clyde, but it was a little bit forward there. Referee McCallum having no hesitation to blow the whistle. Steve Walters. Bradley Clyde may be overrunning that a little bit. The Broncos. Langer away to Kevin Walters. Steve Renoff. Renoff slips as he tries to step inside. Quickly going to be claimed. Laurie Daly, the man to do it. So this is Langer. Langer gets it across over there to Morris, out of one tackle, but the cover of Ricky Stewart's there, and also coming into it is Crocombe. 
Langer dummy half now. Works it away to Mark Hone. Important time here for the Broncos. That Canberra lead is a pretty strong one at the moment. That's Peter, or rather, uh, it's uh, Brett Galia there. Still going as Galia. And eventually held up some seven or eight metres out from that Canberra line. Dummy half waiting for it is Walters. Back to Langer. Langer delay. Sends it over the top to uh, Renoff. Renoff back to no one. Dived on eventually by Renoff to retain possession, but they've lost a lot of ground. Dummy half is Langer. Sends it away to Kevin Walters. Rebounds over there off Ferner. O'Neill sliding across field. Morris can't, ha can't be handled over there at all. Kevin Walters electing to throw a long ball out there. Tough one for Paul Morris. No one in Druku. The heart was in the mouth for the Broncos there if he picked that one up cleanly. So now it's Camber in possession. Now there's going to be a penalty here. Walters and Langer being called out for the tackle on David Ferner. Hard to see who he's pointing at, Walters or Alfie Langer. Certainly one of them's going to be in a bit of trouble here. Walters. Kevin Walters. And Langer's going out, whether he's there as captain or a participant. And he's calling both touch judges in now. Here it is again. Ferner taking the ball up there. Well, it's Kerrod Walters who's got his hand in underneath. So it's the penalty to Cabra. Ricky Stewart kicks for touch. And we'll find it, 12 metres inside Broncos territory. So it's Canberra now, ready to launch into it again as John Lomax takes it up. Dummy half Steve Walters. Back over there to Hetherington. Hetherington thrown to the ground by Kerrod Walters. Back over this time to Lomax, doubling around Steve Walters. Taken ball and all though by brother Kevin. Dummy half is Nagus. Stewart away to Bradley Klein. Up to the 20 metre line. That's Kroger coming in as dummy half. They've bound up his right ankle at this stage. Daly working across field. Final tackle. Meninga. Crops. Now gets it to Stewart. Not the best sort of a ball. Races away. Gets a boot to it. I don't know how he did, but he did it. Well, he had the attention to Johnny Plath there. The Broncos really. Paying the price for giving the Raiders too many opportunities in their own half. So this is Langer coming across from the wing this time is Morris. He'll be wrapped up though. Laurie Daly doing the job. Kevin Walters, Renoff. Renoff now trying to spread the way through the middle there, but it's going to be wrapped up in the tackle. The man coming around is Bradley Clyde. This is Galia. Kevin Walters now dummy half. The Canberra lead is 12 points to nil. G getting away to Mark Hone. But that defence is on the job out there. They're wrapping them up well and truly. This is Langer. Now to Walters. Cutting back inside is Julian O'Neill. He's up over the quarter line. Slipped out of the tackle of Ferner. But eventually he's got to be stopped there by Wicky. Langer back over there to Galia. Nobody quite sure what was happening then. Kick downfield to be taken by Nagus. He decides to have a bit of a run, but he slips over. It is pretty damp out there. Playing very smartly by Steve Renoff. Nandruku, Renoff the tackler. 20 metre line you can see there. Steve Walters, a little bit of indecision as it came out to Croker. Walters, back the other way this time. This is Bradley Clyde, the big fella's on the bustle. But he's lost it in the tackle. Clyde taking the ball up here on fourth tackle. They really hadn't made too many yards forward. He loses it there. These conditions. Langer with a long one coming out this time to Renoff. Renoff well locked up. Uh, Laurie Daly on the job. And the men backing up from Wednesday, uh, from Monday night for uh, this Canberra side are doing the job. Steve Renoff taking a lot of time to get back onto his feet, Gary. And uh, he didn't train yesterday with the Broncos. Um, and I was a bit surprised to see him in the starting lineup. Well, he feels that he's fit. I don't think he would have played unless he was fit. Mm. That injury is OK. The man out there is a bit of a worry is Johnny Plath. About to receive the ball here and pass it on. He certainly received attention from Kelvin Giles a few moments ago. Kevin Walters through the gap. Gets it away to Morris. Morris cutting back inside. Morris going for the line end. He's got to get it down and score. Paul Morris 
is in for the try. And the Rockers register their first points in the match. Kendra's lead is 12 points to four. Well, there's a few players out there for the Broncos that can get them back into this match. One of them certainly is Kevin Walters. He finds himself outside Laurie Daly there. Not a neat pass off to Paul Morris backing up. He'll be happy to get himself over for a four-pointer. This is Julian O'Neill looking for the extra two points. Two important ones here for the Broncos at this stage. There's a kick, it's on its way, direction is good, it's over. Canberra have a lead at the moment of 12 points to six. So David Perna restarts playing. Conditions just a little bit brighter than they were at kickoff time. That's Steve Renoff to take it back there. He's had a little bit of trouble uh, stepping as quite a few other players have here today. It's just greasy enough to make it difficult. And the football greasy as well. Pretty good for the Broncos though. They have got them back in, themselves back into the match. It looks a little bit brighter for them. They've broken their duck. <laughs> and they're certainly still within touch of the Raiders. And that's important coming into not too long now till half time. Kerrin Walters going to be grabbed over there by Lomax. Away from dummy half onto O'Neill. Driving it deep downfield is Julian O'Neill. Going back is Nan Druku to pick it up. He'll work up to the 20 metre mark. There's plenty of Broncos defence there to take care of him. They're driving back a couple of metres. Headed off by Andrew G. He's decided he's going to get in and give them some. And he's one of the players to keep Camber on the back pedal. And that's Mullins. Stewart from dummy half. Away to Nagus. Nagus works it up to 10 metres short of halfway now. Steve Wallace to dummy half. Over to Lomax. Lomax up the centre, got away from G, can't get away from Plath, just inside the halfway mark. Steve Walters, Ricky Stewart, juggles it, Daly a pass to no one, it'll roll into touch. Well, the yards forward were there. The Raiders certainly getting themselves well out of their half quite easily. A pass from Laurie Daly, had it found Mal. This is the try scorer for the Broncos, Paul Morris. Young fellow who... Um, was out with a concussion very early in the year from a reserve grade match. Kieran Wallace skips away from the dummy half spot up over halfway. Interesting tactic here from the Raiders. You see the penalty there going to the Broncos. Kieran Wallace looking for the quick tap. And takes it, gets it away then to Kevy. On it goes to Mark Hone. Hone locked up though. Lomax and also Bradley Clyde are there. I don't know about that quick tap there really. There was 20 metres to be made with a kick. The Raiders' defence was all set threw the ball sideways and uh, really no yardage forward. Peter Ryder play at 18 minute metres inside Canberra territory. Johnny Plath away then to Alan Langer. Langer with a long one to Kevy while there's plenty of men out there. This is Wendell Saylor trying to find a gap but who should be the man underneath? Laurie Daly again. He's, he's just numbered him all day so far. So Renault from dummy half over to Plath outside to Langer starting to run the ball. This is Mark Hearn up over the 20 metre mark. Ricky Stewart is back there and also Lomax coming into it, the final tackle. Dummy half waiting for it is Kerrin Walters. What will he do? Gives it to Langer. Langer decides to go ahead, tries to send it over the top. It's going to be knocked off by the Broncos, picked up by Canberra. Well, we said it a moment ago, they're not afraid to throw the football around right on half time as we see Brett Mullins taking the final tackle there. That ball from Alfie over the top. Lighty cleaning it up. And a bit of a scuffle going on. Still in the back play over there. G and Lomax. Alan Langer's in there trying to hold them back. Ferner's there. Ferner's got a bit of a push there too. Still going on with G and Lomax. It is half time at the moment. You wouldn't know it. If I was out there in the cold, I'd want to get back to the dressing room as soon as possible. Anyway, it's all over. It's half time. And the half time break sees Canberra with the lead of 12 points to six. There goes the whistle from referee McCallum and a big driving kick downfield. And there's that man, John Lomax, taking it up again. Didn't he have a good first half, John Lomax? Brad Clyde as well up front. Brett Hetherington, all have featured strongly, carting the ball up. So this is Steve Wallace's dummy half now. He goes the other way this time. Reserve grade match today. Canberra came out winners to the tune of 30 points to 10. 30 to 10. That reserve grade side, of course, depleted somewhat with players being used up in the A grade. 
but Canberra a bit too good for them there today. Bradley Clark gets it away nicely to Dan Druku. Dan Druku trying to get away from Alan Langer. Langer eventually puts him down. Right on that 20-metre line now. Meninga to dummy half. Over to Stewart. A long, long pass to Laurie Daly. Kick downfield. Back there is Wendell Saylor. They're going to wrap him up. In the back play, not good for the Broncos. Alan Langer, he copped a cut across the eye, perhaps. He got a head butt from David Fern, of course, an accidental one. David Ferner carrying the ball a little earlier. He's received a bit of attention. So Broncos just on their own 20-metre line. And they spent most of their time down there in their second half. Mark Hone coming to grief. Kerrod Walters, G, takes it up but not for long. Laurie Daly's there. Julian O'Neill. Referee ruling a, a shepherd there. The crowd reacted to it. Well, the pressure was on Greg McCallum. Laurie Daly screaming for a shepherd. Thousands of Raiders fans screaming the same. You see, he takes off in the back of a couple of his teammates. So now a penalty to Canberra. And no doubt David Furner will take the shot at goal. His two points will come in very, very handy for the Canberra side. There's the kick. How is it? It's waved well and truly away. It falls short. It does the lot. Canberra leading by 12 points to six, but they followed through nicely from that kick. And Broncos still with plenty of pressure on them. Wendell Saylor. Well, that's a good one run, Wendell he Saylor. He lost it, but he lost it there. Oh. Not much to it, but referee McCallum spotted it. Now he's going to call him out. Someone said something, haven't they? No, he's right. He's going to rule the knock on and pack down the scrum. And that's more pressure coming up for the Broncos. He did well to get out of a couple of tackles here, but as he hit the ground... Well, the ball's Whoa. been knocked out there from Ruben Wickey. That's why Wendell wasn't very happy about it. Tata crossfield this time by Ricky Stewart. Going to be dived on over there by Johnny Platt. From the play of the ball, here's Bradley Clyde. Clyde's going to be wrapped up. They're just inside the 20-metre line. A big chance for Canberra again. This will test the Broncos' defence. That's Wesley with it. Walters, Stewart, Daly, Meninga. Meninga gets it away to Mullins into the back line. Gets it back inside of Meninga. Meninga going for the line, but no, they pull it, push him back. Almost into touch, but just a metre out from that line. Nandruku, Daly. Daly on a one tackle. Daly unloads it tee. That was a bit dice, but I don't know. He's let it go. Through they go, and Deeth is in for the try. Deeth is in for the try, and Canberra have a lead of 16 points to six. Well, he doesn't mind scoring tries. Came on a, a few weeks back. Jason Deeth and scored three in, re in the place of Steve Walters. Here we see him backing up Laurie Daly. Managed to get out of a couple of tackles, and there he's really happy about it, too. Here's the kick. No doubt about it. Through she goes. So Canberra's lead is a pretty impressive one now. It's 18 points to six. So the restart of play. Julian O'Neill putting up high. Back there is Mullins. Gives it away to Meninga. Meninga right across field. Gets it back to Nagus. Nagus in turn will be knocked over. Well, it's going to make it hard for the Broncos from here, Gary. Uh, they haven't shown enough penetration to peg back a lead like that. Well, particularly in these conditions, Billy, I wouldn't like to write them off, but certainly scoring one try is hard enough. Particularly when you get a team like this starting to play yeah. with a lot of confidence. Well, certainly two, two converted tries in the wet, very difficult, but and that's only to draw the match. A big task ahead of them. So it's Canterbury to play it right on the halfway mark. David Ferner, Deef getting it across to Stewart outside to Daly. Big long kick. Wendell Saylor. Right on the 20 metre line now. So back it goes there to McKenna. Tell me half is Walters. This time to Thorne.
Langer, Walters. Well wrapped up though. Laurie Daly is there again. This is Marcone. Ooh, slammed to the ground over there by Wicky. Kerrod Walters with a kick through. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Mullins is back there to retrieve. He'll slip over and it's going to be claimed and forced back a couple of metres by Kerrod Walters. Well, he was a kicker, so he's done well to get up there. So this is Dan Druku. 18 metres out from his own line. And Bradley Clyde. Deep. He has trouble with his footing also. Well, good defence so far for the Broncos in this set of six. Although Steve Walters finding some space up the middle of the ruck. Put down a couple of metres short of the halfway mark with the final tackle on its way. So they swing it away to Ricky Stewart. Driving it deep down into Broncos territory again. Wendell Saylor is back there. Drops a little bit, plays a dancing game, goes straight ahead. But the man coming in with the tackle is Mel Meninga. Morris having a bit of trouble handling back there, but he knocked it back. Tackle by Steve Walters. So the pressure continues from Canberra. Plath away from dummy half. Langer. Over there this time is Julian O'Neill. But he'll be wrapped up. That's the difficult part about this Canberra defensive pattern. They're so compressed and ready to slide that you think there's space on the outside. The Broncos there electing to throw the ball wide and not going forward. Now they're struggling to find forwards that are there ready to take the ball up. Plath giving it away to Kevy Wallace. This is Wendell Saylor. Saylor stepping up the centre. Stewart came at him. Got out of the next tackle. He's up over the halfway. He's looking for support. Lost it at his tackle. Going to be picked up by Mullins. Came off the shoulder there. Play on, says the referee. Attack is now coming up from Canberra. Mullins up to the 20 metre line. Eventually going to be pulled over back there by Johnny Platt. So from the play of the ball, Canberra putting on the pressure now. Cutting through over there this time is Furner. Furner put down about eight metres out. A big run by Saylor, the loose ball, and Canberra go back on the attack. This is Stewart. Stewart gets it away to Bradley Clyde. Clyde going to be wrapped up. Sends it back this time to Steve Walters. Tackled by Kieran. Gets his pass away to Deet. Deet tries to work up the centre, but he'll be wrapped up ten metres out now from the Broncos line. More pressure from the Raiders. Back over to Laurie Daly. Goes for the drop shot at goal. That's going to be there. Another point on the board. And the Canberra lead now is 19 points to six. Well, the game changes so fast when two sides like this are playing. A break by the Broncos. Return by the Raiders. And now Laurie Daly setting himself with plenty of time for a one-pointer. Alan Langer takes a quick little kick. Uh, it's going to be lost. Langer going at it, picks it up, gets a pass back inside. Coming up was Kevin Walters. Walters put down, 24 metres out now from the Canberra line. Back it goes to Kerrod Walters. He in turn gets it away to uh, the big fella coming up there in Brett Galia. Galia knocked over 10 metres out. Langer again. Langer to Plath. Plath well wrapped up. Daly's a man to come at him. Takes him ball and all. 20 metre line you can see there. Walters, Langer. Oh, it can't be handled over there. By Julian O'Neill. I don't think it was the best of passes. Ricky Stewart to feed. And Camber in possession right on the 20 metre line. Wendell Saylor, the tackler there. Way from dummy half is Nagus. Nagus having a bit of a run now. Back over to Stewart, turns it back inside. Steve Walters, the man with the ball there. Tackler was Peter Ryan. Stewart again, back inside. Playing it as Bradley Clyde. Now going to be another penalty. Kevin Walters, the offender on that occasion. Ricky Stewart finds touch. Canberra take the tap. 12 metres inside Broncos territory. That's David Westley. Deeth to Meninga. 
Beninga with plenty of players around him there. They force him back a couple of metres. But he's got the ball, that's what matters. He'll play it now. Deep from dummy half. Over to Stewart. They keep it going. Doubling around this time is Nagus. Nagus almost slipped out of the tackle, but got to be put down. From the play of the ball. Turning it over this time to Daly. Plenty of men out there. This is Clyde. Clyde sends it back inside. Going for the corner, they're in. Well, there were men galore over there for Canberra. Well, it looked like they butchered a certain try out wide. Saw Steve Walters dummying to go right. Back to Laurie Daly on his left. Through the defender and off to Brad Clyde. The attention of a few players there. He manages to switch slip that ball back in outside to Reuben Wickey. Now the kick from Ferner. Here it is, it's on its way. Direction is it good? The crowd says yes, the touch judges say yes. So the Canberra lead stretches a little bit further. It's 25 points to six. So it's going to be Alan Langer to restart play now. Kick off the ball taken back there by Nagus. Ian turns sends it across to Lomax, who doesn't mind a run, this fellow. Here, yeah, Johnny Lomax back on the field. Steve Walters and Laurie Daly earning an early rest from Tim Sheens. They've had a fairly hectic schedule the last few weeks with their rep commitments. They've done a good job here again this afternoon. So it's Canberra with Ricky Stewart. Gee, that'll be the wobbliest kick you'll see from Ricky Stewart for a while. And still found touch. <laughs> the man's possessed. Yes, well, that kicking game of his has been very much... There's Laurie Daly with the customary ice going onto that knee. So then... Quentin Pongia coming on for Canberra. Bradley Clyde getting a rest. In by Langer. Sailor. It's going to be wrapped up, though. Mal Meninga's there. So this is Julian O'Neill. Went to ground with it over there in the tackle of Wiki. Back over in centre field this time. That's Thorne. Thorne put down about five metres short of the halfway mark. And this is Andrew G. A big long one coming through. Lost by Morris, but picked up by Julian O'Neill, and they'll get him into touch. Noah Dandruku doing the job, and slides him into touch some eight metres from the halfway mark. Well, we saw earlier in the week, Queensland, things don't go your way. They all start seemingly go against you. It's happening again here this afternoon for the Broncos. The game is virtually lost. On that occasion, Julian O'Neill really had no chance to keep himself inside in the slippery conditions. Jason Croker, the man with the ball. 11 metres inside Broncos territory. So Canberra now throwing plenty of players on as uh, replacements here to give some of their origin players a well-earned rest. Ricky Stewart didn't get one, though. Oh, that's out on the fall. Two duds in a row, Ricky. What's happening? So win by Alan Langer. Straight through his legs. Now across the open side, Kevy Walters, Steve ran off. Ran off. No, he's going to be wrapped up again over there. From the play of the ball. The defence of Canberra still going on with the job, and they've pinned the Broncos down around that 20 or 30 metre mark for a lot of this second half. So Broncos now 10 metres short of that halfway mark. Johnny Plath to Alan Lang. Oh, he went to do the little kick and fell over it, I think. And hurt himself there. I don't even know if Alfie got his foot to the ball on that occasion. Six tackles here for the Raiders is the worrying bit now for the Broncos. So now it's Canberra in possession. 30 metres out now from the Broncos line. In the dying minutes of the match. So back to Ricky Stewart. Stewart, uh, well, it got away from Hetherington. Picked up nicely there by Meninga. Not the easiest of passes. Hetherington to dummy half. He'll turn it back inside. Take it up there as Westley. Westley eventually pulled down, but he's 18 metres out from that Broncos line. 
Stewart. Turns it back inside. Breaking out of the tackle there is David Ferner. Ferner still going to get in. Ferner bounced, Jake did everything and scores another try. And Canberra career away at Bruce Stadium. Their lead now is 29 points to six. Well, he scores plenty of points, David Ferner. And here he's backing up the right man. A little pass inside from Stewart. Beats a couple of tackles here. Look to be wrapped up by Wendell Saylor. Maybe a little bit too high from the fullback. Gets himself over, not far from the post. David Ferner. After an extra two. And should not have much trouble in doing it. Here's the kick. Through it goes. No, it doesn't. It's going to be waved away. Gee, missed a simple one. Waved away. So the score remains. Canberra leading by 29 points to six. So here's a kick-off from Alan Langer. Tries to grab her at the 10 metres. Gets it. And Broncos end up with possession. So going out after it that time for the Broncos was Russell Borden. So now it's uh, Walters. Get her ball. Gee, that was a big tackle by Wicky. Away from dummy half. Back inside it goes. This is McKenna coming in from the wing. McKenna forced back a couple of metres in the tackle. So Walters back over to Plath. Outside to Langer. The long one to Kevy Walters. Little left foot kick through. Back there is Nagus. But he's knocked it on. Knocked it on, Kenny Nagus. Well, they got wrong footed there for a moment, Nagus. The ball coming back inside. His left. Tried to stop himself there. Stuck the hand out and a little knock on. So it'll be... Alan Langer to feed the final scrum of the match. Langer, a cross over there to Kevy Walters. Walters to Ranoff. Ranoff can't get away. He's going to be pulled down. The tackler getting it underneath with Jason Croker. So it's Langer from dummy half. Broncos trying to break that Canberra defence, but it's been there all day. Well, Tim Sheen's wanted the defence, and he's got it. Back to Langer, outside of Kevin Walters, then to Renoff. Renoff over the top, Thorn going for the corner, can he get it down? Yes it is, it's a try to the Broncos, right of the death here. And Thorpe getting in for the try. Canberra leading by 29 points to 10. Well they deserve it I suppose. Just for the effort this afternoon, as you said, the Raiders defence has been good, but on that occasion a big hole right on full time has opened up. Brad Thorne bustling his way over. Bumps off Nandruku. On his way in. Strikes up a away to the right-hand side of the uprights. So Canberra retained the lead of 29 points to 10. And the referee says it is all over. So full-time here at Bruce Stadium. The Canberra Raiders, too good for the Brisbane Broncos today. They run out winners by 29 points to 10. And some big performances from the Canberra side. Stats coming out of the match today. The one that was at halftime has continued in the second half. Broncos missing 24 tackles, 13 to the Canberra Raiders. Our man of the match today was a big front row for the Canberra Raiders. Good performance there from John Lomax. Not a